discover the Italian with a delicious difference. New House Italian from Kraft. It's spicy the way you like Italian, but with a touch of sweetness, like sweet basil and red bell pepper. One taste will tell you it's not the same old herbs and spices. New Kraft House Italian. The difference is delicious. Introducing the all-new Plymouth Acclaim LX. To have V6 power, available room for six, ultra-drive automatic transmission. To combine the best of all worlds, takes a world leader. The new Plymouth Acclaim LX proves the nine most important words Plymouth knows. Get 0% financing or 300 to 2,000 cash back on select new Chrysler Plymouth cars. Hey, tip it. Whatever it was, it's dead. Very funny, Flutie. I always do this to my shredded wheat. Didn't your mother tell you not to play with your food? I learned this from my mother. I knew that. I did. Now, this gun shredded wheat is great no matter how you eat it, because it's nutritious all wheat with no added sugar or salt. Hey, Flutie, you better try spoon-sized shredded wheat. I wouldn't want you to strain yourself. <laughs> Nice, Grant. We always read the paper together in the morning when we were alive. I'm glad we started again. Me too, Claire. I even like it better now. Look at this. Taxes are up. Insurance rates are up. Phone bills are up. Why is that better? We don't pay them anymore. <laughs> we don't even have to pay for the paper. <laughs> Let's face it, Claire. The only thing we have to worry about now is staying at room temperature. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you finally found something positive about our situation. I just don't understand it. I mean, this school can't be that much better. Really? I don't know. There's a lot more good students here. Yeah, but I'm still going to explain the low marks on this report card. C in math. C in English. C in history. Boy, those grades sound bad enough to be yours. <laughs> but I'm really surprised at this C in science. Science has always been your best subject. The first month you got all A's, what happened? Uh, nothing. I think this class I'm in is too hard. Maybe I should be transferred to the other one. What are you talking about? You're a wizard, science. When you were seven years old, you built your own rocket ship. Right, remember? That sucker would have gone 100 feet in the air if you hadn't fired it off in the living room. <laughs> I'll get the paper. Wow, that paper boy must be taking steroids. It's a good job I stay in shape, Claire. You know, I have the body of a dead man half my age. Derek, we're worried about these grades. Son, if there's anything you want to talk about or any help you need, your mom and I are always available. Poor kid starting out life with two strikes against him. I know what your problem in science is. You do? Too much television. You're just not working hard enough. Absolutely. Like last night. You could have been studying instead of watching Blood Beach Party. <laughs> Honey, you wanted to watch that. Hey, Liz. I'm an adult. I don't have to think after dinner. Okay, this has got nothing to do with TV. Then I want to see that grade come back up starting now. Uh, will everybody just get off my face and let me work it out? Has Derek started drinking coffee? <laughs> Harry Carey back at Wrigley Field. Ryan Sandler. Oh, there you are. Mind if I join you, Grandpa Old Scout? I'm not turning the channel to Masterpiece Theater. Oh, come on. You have to. It's I, Claudius. This is landmark television. So is this. The Cubs are playing Pittsburgh. <laughs> oh, the Cubs are playing Pittsburgh. Why don't you just go down the filling station and watch it with Clyde and Zeke? <laughs> okay, I'll make you a deal. I'll turn on your show if you fix me breakfast in bed for a week. Over my dead body. <laughs> I'd rather have it on a tray. That is blackmail. Well, suit yourself. You probably see it anyway. I'm sure Mike and Liz are hurrying home from the Plum and Trade show to watch Masterpiece Theater. Oh, okay. Breakfast in bed for a week. 
plus shoe shines and complimentary snack service. Why are you doing this to me? Well, I always wanted a butler, and you people have that great accent for it. Sorry, I do not have an accent. You have an accent. You have an American accent. Gee whiz, Bob. What say we go down to Kmart and get ourselves some hot dogs, some French fries, and a Twinkie? Hey, the Cubs got the bases loaded. This could go into extra innings. Oh, all right. You win. Ah, I finished the dishes, Grandpa. Oh, what is that? Why, that is Masterpiece Theater, son. <laughs> the Cubs game was rained out, huh? <laughs> I'll go and fix us some popcorn. Too bad I don't have a funny talking butler to do it for me. <laughs> uh, I'll check the score. Hey, hey, where's the remote? I've hidden it. Like the magazines under your bed, you pint-sized pervert. Hi, honey. Hi, how was the plumbing show? Oh, the same as always. I thought it would never end. Oh, come on. Didn't you love that last exhibit? Our America. 200 years of drainage. Oh, the plumber returns. Flushed with success. Can you keep it quiet? So... How'd you do with your science homework? Okay, how was your day? Don't ask him that, he might tell us. Just keep quiet. Come on, Derek. What'd you get? It was just homework. Who cares? I care. I care, too. Well, that's very touching. Could you all please care in the next room? <laughs> Derek, what grade did you get? I got a D. Oh, Derek. D. Then why aren't you studying instead of watching television? No! Don't turn the TV off! The kid got a D. For this family, he's an overachiever. <laughs> telling you, I can't cut it in this class. Derek, that's just an excuse. Grandpa, come in here. You've got to help me with Ward, June, and the Beaver. <laughs> Derek, this is serious. I want you to tell me why you've given up in that class. I haven't given up. I'm doing the best I can. Which we would not oh, thank you, little boy. The Tooth Fairy will reward you with a Guns N' Roses tape under your pillow tonight. Look, Dad, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh? Oh, excuse me. Are you saying that you don't have time to discuss this problem? Well, let's just see if we can make some time. No! Don't you know you can be sued for unplugging a TV while someone's watching it? I saw it on L.A. Law. I don't know what's gotten into you, Derek, but there won't be any more TV until your science grade improves. In fact, this baby's gone down the basement. No, wait! Granddad, do something! Stop him! <laughs> I'll, I'll wash your socks, I'll clean your room, I'll buy you a new Barry Manilow album. <laughs> the TV needs fixing anyway, there's a real bad ghost on it. <laughs> what room did they say the science lab was? Uh, 211. Grant, what are you doing? Well, it was your idea to come to Derek's school. I was just mingling. Hey, you want your television back? It won't happen unless his grades get better. And I don't think he's just goofing off. I think something's going on down here. I think the science lab should be down this way somewhere. <laughs> Hello, good evening, and welcome. I'm David Frost. <laughs> Super, marvellous, wonderful, terrific. <laughs> Tonight we ask the question, can the American teenager be considered an intelligent life form? <laughs> we asked several teenagers, and this is what they had to say. Totally awesome. Uh, Will Nolly. Your mama. Grant, we found the science lab. Well, good luck. Hey, wait, where are you going? Oh, I can't go in the class and embarrass the heck out of the boy. You can go anywhere. No, wait, I hated science class. It smelled like a terrible combination of formaldehyde and burning sulfur. 
I can smell it right now. No, dear. That's the cafeteria. <laughs> Uranium, Neptunium, Plutonium, Americium, Curium. And so we have now identified all the elements known to scientists before 1946. Another boring science teacher. Where do they all come from? I expect you to memorize their atomic weights and symbols before we begin our experiments. Oh, that's really interesting. And when you've done that, you can memorize the hat sizes of all the Swedish Nobel Prize winners. Grant Cannett. Well, she's boring me to death. And I'm dead already. Now remember, safety comes first in all your experiments. There are several dangerous acids which must never be mixed with water. Because if they are, your parents will be taking you home in your own personalized baggie. <laughs> now, class, this is the lab manual you will all be using. Hmm? As you can see, my experiments with nuclear waste have come in quite handy. <laughs> Don't forget, science projects due next week. See you at the fair. Hey, wait a minute, guys. Don't you have a few minutes to talk to your buddy? Grant. I mean, what's up, Derek? I thought we were friends. Did I do something wrong? Uh, what do you want, Georgie? These guys like me. I mean, they're doing a really good job on my volcano project. Because they're my pals. Right, pals? Right, right Georgie. Georgie. Yeah. Pals. But you've been letting me down in the homework department. Who is this kid? That's not a kid. That's a human oil slick. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. But it's not good enough. I can't get into college with D's. You'll make college OK. Gaddafi Tech. <laughs> Why don't you find someone else? But I like you. Ow. Now, look, I need my buddy to get our grades back up where they belong. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to meet with my algebra consultants. <laughs> What are you doing, Derek? You could be getting A's with no sweat. I just don't like that big jerk leeching off me. Why do you guys work so hard for him? Simple. I like to be in the same room with my teeth. <laughs> what about you, Earl? I just like the extra work. <laughs> you guys are no help. You better shape up, Derek, or he's going to take it out on all of us. Oh, why couldn't one of us have a big brother? I don't believe it, Grant. Derek's doing badly on purpose to get rid of that creepy kid. This is serious. You bet it's serious. I'm never going to get my TV back. Grant, we've got to do something about that jerk. You're right. I'm going to follow him home. Maybe his parents watch Masterpiece Theatre. <laughs> Nearly departed. We'll be right back. This is what I wonder. If this is just right, how can that one be just right? I mean, here they have fruit and nuts with all those flakes. And there they have fiber nuggets. Huh? So this isn't just a little better, or maybe it's a little worse. It's just right, just like the other one. Hey, they both taste great and they give you all those vitamins, but the thing is they're doing it in different ways. So they may both seem just right, but it's just not physically possible. Kellogg's Just Right. For the perfect blend of 100% nutrition and great taste, no other cereal is just right. Of course, I've been wrong before. If you haven't been to Sears lately, you haven't been to Sears. We've lowered prices on over 50,000 items, and that includes over 2,000 top-quality furniture and bedding items, all reduced 10 to 50%, like sofas, sleepers, recliners, bedroom sets, and all Sealy bedding. Plus, thousands of fashions for your home. Towels, sheets, comforters, draperies, blinds, and more. So for great low prices on furniture and home fashions, get to Sears now. A double pleasure's waiting for you. A double pleasure from Double Mint Gum. A double great feeling, making you realize Double Mint's the one for you. Double fresh, double smooth. Lee Remick is a woman accused. I did not smuggle. Held in a foreign prison. Ten years? The only way out is with a courage she's never known. Dark Holiday, next. 
A $100,000 reward is yours if you crack the case in the killing of a Secret Service agent. Somebody out there knows who these individuals were. It pays to catch a criminal on unsolved mysteries. She's asking you to think. Maybe you better take a nap first. I bought this nightgown today, and I don't know if I like it. Oh, yeah? Let me take a look at it, honey. Should I keep it? Yes! I don't know. You think it's me? It's practically all of you. <laughs> well, Bucket, even if you hate it, keep it for me. I don't think you have the legs for it. Well, I suppose I could keep it for special occasions. You don't think it's too trashy? No! <laughs> Absolutely not! I mean, this is the sort of thing you should wear all the time. I mean, wear it to do the housework in. Personally, I can't wait to see you vacuuming the stairs. <laughs> Oh, hi. I was... Looking for love in all the wrong places? <laughs> no, I was looking for you. Oh? Uh, looking for you to see if this would suit you. And? It doesn't. Too trashy. <laughs> well, I don't know about this, but wait till you see what I bought for you. <laughs> you can't stay out of trouble for five minutes, can you? Well, without a television, there's nothing else to watch. And it's part two of I, Claudius, tonight. Well, I told Grandpa about the bully at school. He's going to try to figure out how to handle it. Well, why doesn't he just tell Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> if Derek wanted his parents to know, he would have told them. Don't you know anything about teenagers? Aren't people ever 14 years old in England? Yes, but luckily they keep it to themselves. <laughs> hey, Derek, what are you doing up so late? Uh, I couldn't sleep. How come? Something on your mind? No, not really. <laughs> 14. I remember when I was 14. You do? Man, you must have an incredible memory. <laughs> it teens are not easy to forget. I never could figure out if I was standing on top of the world or on the edge of a cliff afraid I might fall off. Yeah, I know the feeling. But I can't imagine you being scared of anything. <laughs> I was afraid of a lot of stuff back then. Girls, dogs. You lose your fear of dogs. <laughs> and then there was Butch Gibbons. Butch Gibbons? A tough kid. He used to pick on me and made me give him my lunch every day. Did he ever make you do his homework? Well, how did you know that? Uh, well, there's this guy, Georgie, who's bothering me. That's why my grades are down. I'm doing this bad homework, getting D's to get him off my back. Sooner or later, you got to stand up for yourself, son. Fear is nothing to be ashamed of, but it won't go away by itself. I was hoping I could learn to live with it. Derek, a black eye hurts a lot less than losing your self-respect. Oh, great. Either I lose my self-respect or my head. The important thing is whether or not you do what you have to do. You're right, Grandpa. Thanks. Oh. oh, by the way, did you ever stand up to Butch Gibbons? I sure did. Well, what happened? You ever notice how my nose kind of leans to one side? <laughs> There's no point in just sitting there and staring. The TV is gone. Well, it's not right, Claire. I bet this is the only house in America without a television set. Sure, it rots your brain and ruins your eyes, but I miss it. 
Drop your belly ache and you're going to get your television back. I am? How'd you do that, Jack? Easy. I convinced Derek he had to stand up to that bully. I don't know that that's very good advice. You haven't seen Georgie. Oh, he's 14 years old. How bad can he be? Very bad and very tough. Derek's going to get killed. Oh, no. You don't think he could come back as our kid, do you? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, no breakfast, Mom. I'm not hungry. Okay, sport. Let's check the old science homework. You know you've been working hard. We heard you early this morning. Yeah, I got up to watch the sunrise. Just in case it's my last. <laughs> okay. Write a two-page report on photochemical reaction. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Look at this. Seven pages. Typed. It even has an index. Derek, this has got to knock him dead. Uh, Dad, don't say knock him dead, huh? <laughs> well, why not? I'm proud of you. Look, I know I was kind of rough taking away the TV and all, but sometimes a father has to kick butt. I uh, am. Don't say kick butt either. <laughs> Here's your lunch. Well, looks like I got everything then. So I guess I'll be going. Bye. That's it? Bye? Oh, jeez. Look at this picture. It's Brawler Murphy after his title fight last night. <laughs> Murphy was given a terrible beating. In the third round, he lost three teeth when he was hit so hard, his mouthpiece flew out and landed in Elizabeth Taylor's hair. <laughs> Humiliated and defeated, he crawled to his corner, a deep gash in his cheek, both eyes swollen shut, and blood pouring out of his broken nose. Oh, goodbye, Dad. I love you. You know, sometimes you really feel like you're doing the job. One more chance, Tooley. Now call for my homework. Well, 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 Claire. It's our favorite laboratory rat, Georgie. Well? Do your own work, man. I quit. What are you two looking at? Just keep working on my project. <laughs> Maybe you're not as smart as I thought. You quit when I say you quit. Grant, do something. Gee, Professor Science, what are we going to learn today? <laughs> well, Jimmy... We can see what happens when we take this large boy and stuff him into this small aquarium. I'm not afraid of you anymore, Georgie. Or we can stick Georgie on a lit Bunsen burner and see how fast he approaches the speed of light. There's no place to run, Dooley. I don't care. No homework. But I think right now we'll illustrate the first principle of gravity. What goes up... Hey! ...must come down. Hey! <laughs> Hey! It works! And now, Derek, I think it's time to illustrate Pritchard's third law of motion. When a small object hits a larger, uglier object first, the small object should really get the hell out of here. Way to go, Derek! I'm not kidding, Georgie. I'm through doing your work. So am I. Me too! If that's all right with you. You don't think I can take all three of you? If you think you can, go ahead. You're not worth the trouble, Dooley. What? <laughs> Bye, Georgie. <laughs> Come back again with your paper train. Derek, you are crazy. Where'd you get the guts to do that? Hey, man, I always had them. I was just picking my spot. <laughs> that was very nice, what you did for Derek. Well, I just wanted to get my TV set back. Oh, really? You could have done a lot of things to stop that kid, but you let Derek think he did it by himself. I think you're starting to like him. Please, Claire. Not in front of my lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grant, you're totally rad. Oh, my God. 
If we can build a ship with enough room for three and a half football fields, we can build a car with more than enough room for five adults. Introducing the roomy, powerful Sonata from Hyundai, the mid-size car that makes sense. A perfect size six. So how can she eat like that? And still be a size six? Oscar Mayer baked ham is less than 25 calories per delectable slice. Someone here already knew that. So go ahead, less than 25 calories a slice. She looks great. And that outfit wouldn't lie. If she eats one more thing, I'll scream. Uh -huh. Oscar Mayer oven roasted turkey is just 25 calories per luscious slice. Someone here already knows that. So go ahead, just 25 calories a slice. If we can build towering suspension bridges that will stand the test of time, we can build a durable, reliable car to cross them. Introducing the roomy, powerful Sonata from Hyundai, the mid-sized car that makes sense. Next, a heart-pounding world premiere movie based on a true story. Lee Remick stars in Dark Holiday. And Wednesday night, catch a criminal and you could collect $100,000 on an all-new Unsolved Mysteries. Hi, I'm Dave Letterman, and all this week our show is in the great city of Chicago. Uh, the studio back in New York is being fumigated. Imagine it's 1955, and you're white in the South. Then suddenly everyone sees you as black. A powerful quantum leap on its new night, Wednesday. A newborn child's life hangs by a thread. Can he survive in the face of health care rationing in our overcrowded hospitals? Tomorrow on NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. NBC News at this hour, I'm Chuck Scarborough. The White House today brushed aside a prediction by Defense Secretary Dick Cheney that Gorbachev's reforms will fail. President Bush today said he hopes the Gorbachev reforms will succeed. House Speaker Jim Wright says he has no comment about reports that he put into the congressional record his endorsement of a home video program sold by a company employing his wife. Secretary of State James Baker threatened today to cut off USA to the World Health Organization if it grants membership to the Palestine Liberation Organization. And Exxon said today that since the Alaska oil spill, some of its customers have registered a protest by mailing back their Exxon credit cards. So far, Exxon says, those returns number about 10,000. More news later on this NBC station. How many friends did you leave behind in Canada? Well, a 10-minute call to Toronto can average just 24 cents a minute. So go ahead. They're counting on your call. AT&T International Long Distance. You don't have to spend a king's ransom to stay in touch with the folks back home. Because a 10-minute call to the UK can average just 64 cents a minute. Why not give them a ring today? AT&T International Long Distance. More and more people are visiting Florida this year. They're not bringing back sunglasses or beach towels. They're bringing back guns. Because they're easy to get down there. And even easy.